Greetings, everyone. I am Lord Malvern, and welcome back to my Stellaris campaign, Return of the Ming, being streamed live on Twitch on the 4th of June, 2016. Alright. Well, we are colonizing this little gap here. At the moment, we are doing all the surveying. We've, gotten, we've eliminated the Prothorian Scourge from the galaxy. Some some crisis that was. I mean, it didn't even phase us, really. Think about it. Alright, so you... You're still working on ships, right? Yeah. Okay. Fourth Doom Fleet, what is your fleet composition? You have 20 destroyers. I might want to get more destroyers for you. For you. I need to learn to enunciate my words better. Oh, hey! We can improve the kibble for our slaves. That wouldn't be a bad idea. We could actually start our own federation with blackjack and hookers. That doesn't seem like us, but, you know, it's a tech we can research. This seems more like us. We'll take that. Although our operatives on the surface of Viri Pog now number in the thousands, the progress of our operation has been slow. An infiltration cell recently attempted to overthrow the government of one of the planet's most major reactions in a violent... I just read nations as reactions. What the hell? Major nations in a violent coup, only to have the attempt foiled and most of the cell members killed. Another cell, fortunately, man managed to retrieve their bodies before the Aether authorities could identify them as aliens. But this is a significant setback. Of course it is. We have nothing but significant setbacks, don't we? Alright. New sector, you need to add this. Stat. ASAP. Finish. A more detailed scan of one of the many natural satellites opening, orbiting the gas giant of Neshmith, Neshmith 3 has revealed a deposit of precious mineral, mi metals and minerals that was overlooked in the initial survey. Alright. Awesome. Very nice. Could you come over here and research this week's signal now? Very much appreciated, if you would. Okay, so we did learn fairly recently that uh, these guys are equivalent to us now. Which means as soon as we get the band together here, we might want to send our entire fleet up to take care of, uh, take care of business. Don't break the fourth law. Alright. Our new settlements on Arcadia have come into contact with the primitive Stone Age aliens native to this world. There have already been several violent confrontations, and we need to establish a policy of how to deal with them. We can fortify our settlements into enclaves and limit them to remote regions where few aliens live. This will severely limit the land and resources available to our colonists. Another option is to relocate the aliens to special reservations where they can be kept isolated from the rest of the colony. This would limit the available land, but not nearly to the same extent. Enslave the savages and make them work for us. That sounds like the Ming way. Yes. If 
Fanatic individualist xenophiles, of course. Oh, they are intelligent, too. How unfortunate for them. Well, so much for, uh... Not having slaves in that sector. Oh, well. Uthonian First Underground. I need to figure out where New Con Nova Constantinople is. It has to be somewhere. Like Lessum? No? I know where you are. Let's just deal with you, because... You are... Alright, an abandoned life pod was detected in... Close orbit of Pelione 8. If uh, it is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mother ship exploded, and preliminary scans suggest it was built more than 5,000 years ago, the crew of the, the mighty Skia managed to open the pod, revealing the weathered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws was a small picture of another individual of the same race, possibly a mate or reverend leader. Revered. <laughs> revered leader. Not reverend. Alright. I would say that's sad. But, of course... I'm cold as ice. You guys, uh... You doing okay? You got... A bunch of you have, like... Ethics that are not, uh... Not agreeable, let's say. Ah, you got windstorms. That, that'll... That'll do it. Yeah, that's that's a bitch. Okay, so do you really need this, this fertilizer plant thing? It's like 10% or whatever. Do you have... I'm trying to remember. Do you have any... I don't think you guys have any entertainment facilities here. Why don't I get you an entertainment facility? I'm sure you guys would love a virtual combat arena. Oh, wait. Let's cancel that. Uh, What about the other one? Xeno Zoo. Okay, well, I do like that this kind of offsets the other one, but this one kind of boosts it a bit more. I mean, we, we're ha not having problems with, uh... Don't get me wrong, we're not having problems with their ethics divergence, it looks like. We just need... Yeah, why don't we do Xeno Zoo? Screw it. More happiness. Gotta spread the joy around. Make them forget that they're living in a horribly oppressive totalitarian state. Mm hmm yep, dismissive. You don't really care about anyone else. Okay, so the Gnar over there. Right, you're a vassal.
Hey, buddy. You can always just let me know when you get control of the reins, okay? I obviously have your best interests Research at heart. Complete. Okay, so. Could take Garanthium Forge. Unlock yet another resource. <laughs> uh, and more components. No, I, I don't think that's necessary. Teldar Ammunition Factory. Again, more components. More modules for, for star bases, rather. I should say. I should be more specific. Loader efficiency. Yeah, right. Sure. Oh, one of our governors just died. Uh, governor of Flaxington. Gotta get a new one. Hey, you know what? I have an idea. No, I'm not renaming you. I'm assigning you to a new place. Go forward to Flaxington. And you, you seem like a good one for an up and coming planet. How old are you anyway? Okay. She's probably got, like, 40 years left in her. Plenty for us to keep on building. In Citadel. I do think this, uh... This fleet needs some... Um, maybe some more destroyers and some more... Um... Definitely some Corvettes. One of our covert operatives on Vero Pog has gone rogue. Poor misguided fool has been spitted by an ethere female, and the two of them have eloped to parts unknown on the planet's surface. We are as yet uncertain as whether the agent has revealed his true alien nature to his love interest, or if he's secretly posing as an ethere to her. Needless to say, this is a tremendous security breach. Yes, it is. We should do everything in our power to bring this agent back and give him the psychiatric, psychiatric care he is so clearly in need of. This will set us back. Yep, that is a bit of a problem. Okay, so... I did, did just realize that I originally built those destroyers for this fleet. This, we, we have a bunch of fleets that need destroyers. This one needs destroyers, this one... Okay, we, we just need to build some destroyers. Okay, why don't we tell you what? There there is there oh there is apparently. Alright. Alright, so we're gonna send you guys over to these places to get the latest and greatest tech. And then once you're done upgrading, 
we will build more destroyers for your uh, your fleet. Actually, I do wonder. Do you need to be upgraded? Oh, you do need to be upgraded. All right. What about you? No upgrade available. And you? Oh, you do need to be upgraded. Well, as soon as you merge with the Dwumgar fleet. Actually, let's see your Dwumgar is over here. Maybe I should send them over to you in Citadel. Hmm. We'll think about that. You will definitely think about that. And maybe unpausing would be a good idea, too. You know, unpausing is a very important part of... running a real-time game. Oh, who insulted us? Construction complete. The Royal Zaytek Sons. We consider the Celestial Empire to be one of the great accident accidents of the galaxy. It should never have been. Is that, that's really all you could come up with? I, I, that's that's like the one, one I've heard the most, too. It's like, you can't even... Right. Of course. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that would be a bit of a bother. So, so you left... Wait a minute. Construction complete. Wait a minute! You're still a member of the Favorable League. But you would come in... If I were to declare war on the... What? Maybe it's because it's a protectorate? I don't know. That seems weird. That seems weird that I would anger both federations by declaring war on that one in particular. Okay, so... Somehow I get the feeling that if I were to, to join up with this guy, with, with this federation, uh, I would pretty much just win the game. Because they, they literally just have... So many systems. Another dead governor. Inferior soul this time. Alright. Well, this one has some experience. Army veteran. Oh, that's, that's right. Our uplifted species do have experience do gain some experience. Uh, let's see here. We really don't need additional mineral output, but at the same time, we're not going to really be building armies with a bunch of weaklings either. Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I do like the two-star... I do like they they're two stars and garrison health. Okay, that's that's pretty nice. Especially since these are like border. Yeah, screw it. We'll take this one. 
I mean, we don't need. Let's just fill these up with uh, defensive armies. Oh, well, they already are filled up with defensive armies. Will you look at that? We got Xenomorph armies, that's right, I completely forgot about that. Ooh. Actually... Those aren't really the best ones to... to do that with, because... they are weak... weak and pathetic species. But we do have ones that are a little bit better. And it's like our human friends. They would make good xenomorph armies. You're another Bronze Age, so okay. Good to know. You are... You're actually building... Alovari... Alotari... Oh, there are, uh... Right, there... There are those guys, the uplifted... One of our uplifted guys... With a tropical preference. Oh! Yeah, okay. Things are starting to click together. I remember I was going to actually colonize this world now. At some point. And I just never did. Alright, well... We can still do that, of course. We just have to remember where their home world is. Yeah, yeah, there they are. Treadway. Okay, and we'll choose the ones that are the most like us. You might as well continue. Ships upgraded. Ooh. Construction complete. Substance abuser. That is unfortunate for him. You know, I've heard somebody made a uh, <laughs> has made a mod that that says that uh, changes that is unfortunate for him to good for good for him or good for her. Whenever whenever they get substance abuser, I thought that was pretty good. As apparently that was. Apparently that was something that uh, that was fixed. Oh, okay. So your your lifespan just shortened. All right. No, I mean that's okay. It's not like we needed. Uh, Need a governor for very long, anyway. We're picking up a scrambled transmission coming from the surface of Very Pog. It's using a frequency normally reserved for our infiltration cells, but none of them are currently transmitting. Could this be our rogue agent? On screen. Any attempt to track this transmission is futile. You know me as Operative X-34. Until recently, I was a willing participant in the criminal covert infiltration program taking place as we speak on Vero Pog. No longer. I have come to appreciate a theory culture in a way I never imagined possible. 
and I will not aid in its subversion. I rescind my citizenship in the Celestial Empire. I no longer consider myself human. Uh, let's see here. We will hunt you down. I am sure you will try. Know that I am prepared to kill to protect myself and my beloved, and that I was trained by some of the finest martial instructors on Earth. Heed my advice instead. Leave Viropog alone. Dismantle your observation posts and forge your evil star empire out of the blood and tears of some other unfortunate species. Well, that's not going to happen. We all know that's not going to happen, of course. Still, I'm a little disappointed they didn't form XCOM. That would have been great. Who are you a part of? You're not a part of anybody. Oh no, you are a part of a federation. This is a, a federation that I don't really care about. We have managed to replace most of the world leaders with our own disguised agents with a few unfortunate exceptions. Efforts are underway now to deal with these stubborn holdouts, but we will have to push the date of our planned reveal forward. Of course. More delays. Okay, so we have... Just completed... These guys over here. Go ahead and merge together with these guys over here. And then, you're all in prime condition, are you? Alright, so we are going to... Yes, we're definitely building these. I'm gonna give each each of these fleets at least twenty. Oh wait, that was Oops. Wrong one. It's comparing it to a Corvette. Obviously it's not as strong as a Corvette. Okay, so these are glass cannons. That's what I remember. Let's look at, let's look and see. Yeah. Mm-hmm, <laughs> okay. So yeah, these are... Maybe a little bit weaker. Than what we want. I'm just uh, looking at my options here. And deciding carefully if I... Okay, so we got... That's where we do have Tachyon Lances, too. Okay, so... Our elephant gun. Right, it has a lot of firepower in the front. Like a ton of firepower. Mm hmm, yeah. 
Where did my... I thought I had photon torpedoes here. I thought I saw photon torpedoes. I could swear I saw photon torpedoes. Oh well. There's also Tachyon Lance. Which would technically be better. Better damage output. Its so range is just as long. Oh, there it is. Proton torpedoes. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll build the elephant guns, I think. They are a bit shield heavy compared to more armor heavy, but that's okay. Nah, that's not gonna that's not gonna be very effective, is it? Uh let's see here. I mean, we could see the problem is, is that I really kind of want to have more of a balance here, though obviously that's not going to work out too well here, no. Okay. This is as much balance as we're going to get here. Unfortunately. Unless there's a level 6 reactor that I have no idea about. Anyway, let's... Uh, we'll go ahead and build our elephant guns. They aren't the. S there are more glass cannons than anything, but that's all right. Oh, uh, let's see. Your four more. There we go. All right. And with that, I am going to take a break here for YouTube. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Take care.